guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of January reading for you all. January 1st through the 15th reading for Virgo. How are you all today? I am doing fantastic. I hope you guys are too. Happy New Year, you guys. Unbelievable, right? I'm going to try some new cards today. I hope you all like them. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. I've already meditated on the cards before I start the video, just so you guys are aware. And this won't resonate with everyone. Justice. Five of Cups. Seven of Wands. The Magician. Queen of Cups. Strength Card. Two of Cups, beautiful. And the Ten of Cups, yay! <laughs> Be willing to forgive. Ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. That's nice. So if anybody's hurt you in the past, try to forgive them and try to move on from it, okay? Sometimes we hang on to stuff like that. It's not good for us and it just drags us down. Well, I've been getting this in a lot of my readings. So obviously this is one of the cards that everybody needs to hear. Sacral Chakra. You are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. This can go in a couple different ways, as you guys heard. It can be the food that we're eating that can be almost poison to our bodies. Stuff that we know we shouldn't be eating, whether it be processed foods or things like that. But it can also be situations and relationships that may not be good for us either, right? So this is kind of um, a card that says it all in a lot of ways. And maybe that's why I'm getting it for so many signs because it's, uh, it's a good card and it tells a lot in just a couple sentences. Give me just a minute, okay? I got some really good feelings going on right now, you all. I am happy to say. I mean, we have this Five of Cups that's a little bit of a... Might be a little crying situation we got going on, but you know what? The rest of these cards are beautiful. When I get these cards over here, this Two of Cups, this Ten of Cups, this Strength card, absolutely beautiful. This Two of Cups, to me, is a relationship of some sort. For a lot of you all, it could be a brand new romantic relationship. It could be a relationship moving on to the next level. This could be your true love, a love of a lifetime for some of you. So this can also be a friendship or a partnership or a business partner or something to that extent too. But when I get this Two of Cups along with this Ten of Cups, which is you emotionally being satisfied and happy, probably happier than you've been in a really, really long time, it gets me tickled for you. Tickled. And that's what this means. It means that you're emotionally satisfied. You're emotionally happy. You could possibly have this love of your life and you've got a family of your own. 
permanent and a happy and loving relationship for some of you that is and then when I get the strength card it's telling me to stay strong and stay determined trust trust in them and they will trust in you trust is a big part of any relationship It takes a lot for this person and this big animal to trust each other, right? So if you've had a hard time, and maybe that's where this be willing to forgive. Ask your angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. Sometimes if we've had uh, someone cheat on us in the past or someone not been trustworthy, it's hard when we get into a new relationship to trust this person. But you're going to have to trust them. So once again, I am tickled to tell you, if you haven't found anyone yet, you might be finding the person you're supposed to be with. Your true love. If you found someone, you could be moving on to the next steps. And this could be a good friend or it could be a partner, a business partner of some sort too. Either way, you've got to trust them unless they give you a reason not to, okay? That makes me happy for you all. Now let's move to this Five of Cups so I can just get it out of the way. Sometimes this is um, not realizing what you have. You got three empty cups or three cups upside down and two full cups up here. Sometimes people say this is crying over spilled milk, for instance. Sometimes this is a situation in your life where you just need to lock yourself in your bedroom or in your bathroom or in your home somewhere and just cry. Get it out of your system. You could be missing people from your past. You could be not being treated right somehow, some way. Sometimes it's just us being emotional. So once you get this out of your system and actually take these two cups along with these, <laughs> right? and see what you have right here. These two cups up here are turning into these cups right here, which turns into ten beautiful cups. So don't let this get you down. If you do need to just, you know, if you're missing people from your past or your past on loved ones or especially over the holidays and things like that, then get out a big old cry and feel better. It will make you feel better. Some of us need to realize with this Seven of Wands that we have boundaries that we need to, um, you need to protect your home, your relationship possibly, your job, your family, your friends. So sometimes when I get the Seven of Wands, I have two different ways of thinking. Sometimes it's just you protecting what you um, have what you need and want and love and sometimes this is just part of life experiences that everybody has to go through so sometimes you might feel like you're being um, challenged or picked on or things happening or situations happening to you that you feel like you might not have any control over but you do, and you're learning from these. It's just part of life sometimes. But we all need to have boundaries. We all need to protect what we love, whether it be your home or your relationship or your loved ones, whatever it may be. Protect yourself always. But realize if you do go through these hurdles or these experiences in life, you're not being punished. They're there to make you help you grow life experiences. And then I have the Emperor up here. Now this can go in a couple of different ways. The Emperor could be someone that you are feeling to be. Especially now with maybe this new relationship you feel like you're finally the king of the, of the throne, right? King of the castle. Well he's bigger than a king. He's the main guy over all the kings. So maybe this is how you're feeling lately because of this new relationship. But maybe this is someone 
that can actually help you somehow, some way, get through um, situations or get through or give you advice or help you with a loan, sell you a home. Someone will respect it or uh, someone maybe even owning a business that can help you. The Emperor also stands for Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries with this card. So I have a feeling if there is anything that you all need, you might need to go to the Emperor. And it could also be your energies today, which is fantastic if that's the case. And then I get this Justice card. Are you guys going to court for any reason? Some of you may be getting divorced or, or um, a lawsuit or a child custody case. Something that has to do with the court system. Justice will be served. For others, your life may be balancing out a lot more than it used to. It's a balancing act. It's um, things working out for your own good. Sometimes it's karma. Comes around, goes around. And then I have this Queen of Cups. Cups are water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. She's a sweetheart. She or he could be male or female. You could be dealing with a water sign. You could have this energy today. She's a sweetie. She is um, loving and kind and caring and giving. She's highly intuitive. She's very emotional. She wears her, her emotions on her sleeve sometimes. So maybe she's someone that you might be in this relationship, she or he, in this relationship with. This could be your partner. and This could be someone helping you like a mother-father figure or a good friend of yours. Or this is just your energy and your emotional well-being, your happiness, your intelligence, your in intuitive side. And then we have this magician that tells me whatever your um, whatever you're manifesting in your life is coming to life. Whatever you're wanting, whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're praying for is actually coming to life. So for a lot of you, it is this new relationship, this happiness, this fulfillment, this emotional fulfillment. For some of you, it could be different things like homes and jobs and new opportunities in different ways. So whatever you are wanting in life, please realize that whatever you manifest, whatever you want and have faith in and pray about and believe in, you can actually make these things come to life. So if you are wanting a change, you can do it. And if there is something that you need to forgive or forget about that's in the back of your mind, you might need to clear it out. Sometimes if you write it down and throw it away or burn it, it, it makes you feel better. Get it out of your mind and out of your heart. Before I rearrange these, the emperor could be you and your energy. It could be someone that can help you with something along the way, whether it be a bank loan, an attorney, a judge, someone big, a, an owner of a company, maybe a family friend. Justice will be served, balancing out. Five of Cups, you might have an emotional outburst, which is fine. Don't, don't hold it back. Get it out of your system. You'll feel better. And you might be having to defend your boundaries. Defend the ones you love. Your, defend your home. And manifest what you're looking for. And then this could be you or the person that you're involved with. I'm going to rearrange. Give me a minute, okay?
this strength card is strength, determination, and uh, trust. So with these two, with all of these cards over here, if there is, if you're in a relationship and you're not sure if you should trust this person, you're going to have to, you need to anyway. You don't have to, of course, I'm just saying. But you need to trust them unless they give you a reason not to, especially if you've been hurt in the past, somebody hasn't been trustworthy or somebody has cheated on you or something like that. Everybody's different, so you can't blame one old relationship on a new relationship. So be trustworthy. Then with this Two of Cups and this Ten of Cups, this is beautiful, you all. A new relationship, new love, new emotional happiness. Could be that romantic relationship. Could be a partner or a friendship or even business partners. It's a beautiful card. It could be your true love. And then with this Ten of Cups, this could be a love of a lifetime. You're happy. You're emotionally fulfilled. You're tickled. Then, like I said, with this card, there may be a moment when you just feel emotional. Get it out. It'll be all right. Those two cups that are up here are turning into this. Seven of Wands. Protecting your boundaries. Protecting the ones you love. Protecting your home life. It's also life experiences. Sometimes you feel like you might be being picked on or punished, but you're not. Everybody's got to go through it. And then with this Queen of Cups, Cups are water, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could be dealing with a water sign, male or female. Or this could be your energy. Or this could be someone looking out for you. Or a relationship. Sweet, kind, caring, loving, giving. Emotional. Intuitive. Very highly intuitive. Then we have this Magician. Whatever you're manifesting or wanting in your life and thinking about and praying about you're actually helping these things come to life all you got to do is stay focused and determined and make yourself do it and make yourself go forward and it will start getting done so maybe you're manifesting this relationship which is great and then we have the Emperor. Now this could be the way you're feeling lately, like you're in charge of a lot of different things, or this could be who you want to become. It can also be an Aries. But this could also be someone that might be able to help you in one way or another. Homes, attorneys, judges, someone in your community, someone that owns a company, maybe even a family friend can give you advice. And then we have justice. Justice will be served. What comes around goes around. Balancing out. Some of you might actually have a court case that might be coming. Be willing to forgive. Ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. It might be something you need to pray about. But it could also be something that you need to write down and get out of your head and move forward. Sacral chakra. You are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. If there's anything, whether it be food that makes you sensitive, that hurts you, or hurt people, or situations you might want to try to avoid them. That's what this card says. Because right now you guys are finally in a good place. A lot of you are. You might be becoming in a good place soon if you're not already. But overall in general this is a fantastic reading you all. Protect your loved ones. You may have be dealing with a water sign. Whatever you manifest comes to life. If you need something, go to the emperor. And just balance out your life and be happier. Beautiful reading, Virgo. Beautiful reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. This is your 
first half of January reading, January 1st through the 15th reading for Virgo. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.